In this video, we're gonna give you our top 10 countries for first time travelers. Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. My name's Trey and on this channel, my sister Katie and I share with you our insights and experiences so that you can make travel possible. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all our latest videos. When people are thinking about travel, one of their first questions is probably where to go. Well, we've got some answers for you. All the countries in this list carry the same general theme. They're safe, easy to navigate, and they provide less of a culture shock for people from Western countries. Obviously the world's huge and there's lots of options when choosing a place to visit, but in our opinion, these are some of the best places to start. Number one on the list is Ireland. Ireland will always be my number one place to suggest for first time travelers. It's great to start your travels with a country that speaks your language so you can ease your way into this new experience. It's safe. Sometimes first time travelers are nervous about safety and Ireland is a really safe country so it's a great place to start. Another great thing about it is it's small and it's not too overwhelming when you're trying to decide what you want to do or see. If you're staying in Dublin, hop on the commuter train and take a half day trip to Hoth. It's a nearby fisherman's village, it's not crowded, it's beautiful, and it was one of my favorite experiences while being in the country. Number two is Thailand. Thailand is cheap, it has extremely nice people. There's lots of Westerners everywhere, so you're not gonna feel out of place, and lots of people speak English here. No matter if you're looking for jungles, mountains, the big city life, or stunning beaches, Thailand has it all. You have to try the amazing street food. It's everywhere, it's cheap, and it's so good. Number three, Austria. Austria is one of my favorite places on the planet. I will never stop talking about how much I love it. It's safe, it's got really nice people. The picture book scenery took my breath away. Um, if you're a Sound of Music fan like me, this place is gonna be your dream world. I may or may not have some videos of me just crying because I was so happy to be there. Also, if you do go to Salzburg, don't miss out on dinner at the Fortress. It's this little castle that sits on top of Salzburg and you can see for miles. I went at sunset and it was the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. I'm a huge fan of Austria. If this is your first time traveling, go. It will change your life. You're welcome. Number four is Cambodia. Cambodia is a country that's still having a hard time recovering from the Vietnam War almost 50 years later. But you would have no idea that based on the people's attitudes there. Cambodians are right up there with the Thai and Vietnamese when it comes to the nicest people that I've ever met. Lots of people in Cambodia speak English, it's very cheap, and the dollar is the preferred currency there. Also, no trip to Cambodia is complete without heading up to Siem Reap and checking out the ancient temples. You have to go and experience Angkor Wat at sunrise. It's unbelievably beautiful. Number five. England. As Americans, if there's any other culture that we've been subjected to the most through TV and film, it would be Britain. So we know a little more of what's going on there than we would if we went somewhere on the other side of the world. So much of the history that we learned about in school is here, whether it be the royal family or world wars or how America came to be. So it's fun to go and see it firsthand. Trey and I both stayed at the Bulldog Hostel and we could not recommend it enough. It's in the perfect location, they have a free breakfast, and it's attached to a pub so it's really easy to meet new people. We'll put the Hostel World link for it in the description below. Number six is the Netherlands. You'll feel right at home in the Netherlands because it's full of friendly, open-minded people. It's incredibly beautiful, uh, the transportation both within the Netherlands and connecting to nearby countries is really good. If you're looking for a hostel in Amsterdam, I highly recommend the Bulldog. The location's great and it's, it's really nice. Also, while you're in Amsterdam, grab a seat by one of the many canals there and just sit back and people watch. There's people everywhere walking, riding bikes. There's tons of boats going all through the canals. So just sit back and watch because you never know what you're going to see. Number seven, Germany. 
Germany is a great place for first time travelers. There are lots of people that speak English there and there's tons of World War II history if that's something you're into. Stuff that we've only read about in textbooks. I was right there where so much history happened. I went to the Holocaust Museum and I got to see the memorial and I found a tour group that was walking and I listened to a lot of that and it really taught me a lot that I did not know about Hitler's reign and World War II in general. So it was really interesting to see all that stuff firsthand. Trey and I went to Germany on different trips two years apart, but we both made our way to the Berlin Cathedral and it is this massive, gorgeous building and it took my breath away and I highly suggest you check it out. Number eight is Singapore. Singapore is a city state located between Malaysia and Indonesia. It's a small island and it's pretty much a city and a country all in one. It's a great place for first time travelers because it's also very comfortable. It has a reputation of being really clean, and it is. Um, it's also very safe. While you're there, you should check out the botanical gardens. It's this big, beautiful park that has every kind of tree or plant you can imagine. It's definitely worth checking out. I haven't been to Singapore since 2006, so I know the city's changed a lot since I've been there, so I'm really looking forward to getting back. Number nine, Switzerland. Switzerland is a great place to go for first time travelers when you're just getting used to being in foreign countries. It's really clean, it's definitely safe, it's beautiful. Um, it's really easy to get around, which most places in Europe are because their public transportation is so good. I saw mountains like I never knew existed. I saw water that was so blue, I did not think it was real. Switzerland is a gorgeous place and really fun to go, but it is more expensive than a lot of the other choices on this list, so make sure to save up a little extra money. If you are a big fan of outdoor activities or you're an adrenaline junkie, you wanna go to Interlaken. It's this awesome little small town. I was just there for 24 hours, but I can't wait to go back. It's beautiful, they have tons of activities like bungee jumping, canyoning, kayaking, uh, paragliding, all of those awesome activities that you put on a GoPro and show everybody back home what you're doing on your vacation, this is the place to go for it. And number 10, this is a bit of a surprise choice, but it's Hong Kong. This was the first place I ever visited outside of the US, and I really had no idea what to expect, but soon after I got there, I realized that it was really easy to get around and communicate. Hong Kong is technically part of China, but it also has its own state government and its own currency. It's a former British colony, so it has more Western comforts than mainland China. When you see the signs there, they're all written in Chinese, but underneath they're written in English. So that makes things really easy. Be sure to take a dinner cruise from Victoria Harbor through Kowloon Bay. The views of the city are unforgettably beautiful, especially at night. Trey and I have collectively been to every location on this list and we love them for so many different reasons, but most importantly, we think they're perfect for first time travelers. Today's travel related question is, where do you wanna go on this list and why? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that little bell so you can be notified whenever we put out new content. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See you next time. Bye y'all.